Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder D, and we are back playing Dark Souls. So last time we were down in Ash Lake, where we fought a Hydra, and it was pretty badass. Not gonna lie, it was badass. So now, as I said, we are back in Blight Town. We're back, squishing around. Mildred Maneater has apparently invaded our world. So great, now we get a now we get a take on an NPC. So we're just gonna run right past them. So that we can get onto some like dry land over here. And there's Mildred. Hello! What you doing? How about some fire? More fire! Yeah. Oh, she seems to be pretty resistant to fire, though. Oh, wow, that hurt. Will you get out of here, you stupid bug? Man, I kicked the crap out of her. Okay. I got something. Humanity. I'm not sure what else I got. The thing was in my way. That's the only annoying part, is that the screen thing goes directly in the way of, um... Goes directly in the way of, uh, whatchamacallit where the items go. Alright, so, because there's a boss coming up, one thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to actually want to put... Oh, here's the poison problem. Oh, perfect. Is we're going to want to cure our poison, and it looks like there's a friend of ours who's just nicely chilling over here. Damn it. This lady is important, as long as those guys don't trigger. Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Yep. Fascinating. I am Quelana of Isolith. Oh, I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. <laughs> Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? Yes. Like Salomon? Yes, I am. Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. And what is that? Are you prepared to do this? Yeah, sure. Oh, well, that's simple. All right, great fireball, boop, and great combustion, regular combustion. Now here's the thing, I already got these spells, so I'm not sure if it's actually gonna stack in my inventory. Modify equipment. Oh, here's the cool part. It says that it goes back to um, back to zero, but you're actually increasing it to become a stronger pyromancy flame. So now, as you can see, this one goes up to uh, Oh, we're on. Now go, lest my time. Here, let's see if those spells actually stacked. Oh yeah, now we got two great combustions, two great fireballs. Oh, fantastic. Two combustions. Well, that's super handy. Alright, so now we gotta go over there where these guys are guarding. Gotta get around them. They're really annoying because they throw giant boulders at us. So we gotta go up here and there's going to be a boss up here. Well, in this cave over here. So we're just gonna jump in this cave. We're gonna use a poison moss to cure the poison. There we go. Alrighty. These guys, you do not want to attack. They're just kind of like chilling. They're just kind of like praying because they get like bugs and stuff on them. You know, kind of gross. But, if you attack them, then worms come out and the worms suck. So... There's a summoning thing for if you defeat uh, Mildred Maneater. But I think I'm actually going to be pretty decent. So, traverse to white light. This is one of my favorite bosses in aesthetics. Like, she is badass. She's awesome. She looked pretty cool. Girl, you need to clip your fingernails. Boots. <laughs> anyway, she is my favorite boss, Quileg. She's one of my absolute favorite bosses. She looks fantastic. She's a giant. Oh, she kicks ass. She kicks my ass. Like. She's got attacks, that spider she's on has attacks. How effective is this? 
That's right, I am using fire. She is immune to fire. I am not surprised, but I am happy to know. Ow! Yeah. She's got attacks all over the place, too. Oh, jeez! Like this, where it just vomits up lava. And the lava, as you can see, doesn't exactly go what oh, she asks. Oh, like, I love her aesthetics. I love her battle that she does. Like, she just completely takes over the entire field. She's got, like, attacks to hit you no matter what you do. There we go. Praise the sun to that girly. Love that boss. Like I said, everything about her is fantastic. Twin Humanities. Oh, she owns the battlefield. The longer you take, then she just starts spewing up more lava. And then, like, the field becomes a problem to you. She attacks you from all sides. Yeah, fantastic. And then what do we have in here? Oh, we got a bunch of pro stuff, so that's for sure. <laughs> but we have... Yeah, this. Bell of Awakening. This is the second bell. This is the one that's down below. There we go. See, we needed the two bells to open up Sen's Fortress. That leads us into the next area. So, here we go. As you can see... The bell's ringing out. And this is the giant. They get cool little hats. And he's wonderfully going to open the gate for us. This is Sen's Fortress, and it is wonderfully open for business. There he is. Just opening that gate. What a nice giant. I love this world. Homeward Bone. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, so, one other thing that you can do. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You can run down here, and there's actually a nice little secret area. This is going to be important for right here. Okay, so, first things first. Let's go and get this bonfire. This is actually a later area that you can that you won't be able to fully go into, but there's even a boss down here and everything. I'm gonna call this episode The World of Fire. So, Demonic Ruins. Boop. We're gonna light this bonfire right here. Alright, so, first things first, let's go... Oh, wait, we don't have the ring. There's a certain ring that allows you to talk to this being that we're gonna meet, which... If you do, is very sad, but I'll explain it to you afterwards. So what you want to do is go over here. Oh, illusionary wall. There we go. Now we meet this guy. Oh dear, what have we here? Are you a new servant? You say yes to one. Yes, but you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. There we go. This guy moves out of our way. Slowly. Very slowly. Come on, buddy. There we go. And we have her. This is Quilog's sister. Now, the reason why it's so sad is because it turns out that, as you can see, her body has become decayed and broken down. And what's worse is her sister's act. The reason why Quilong's aggressive to you is because she's actually protecting her sister, and we killed her. Yep. So if we have the ring, we can find the cell from her, but we don't. So sadly, we can't say anything to her. Oh yeah, can she can even uh, reinforce Essa's flask? You can kill her if you want. Uh, you can uh, you can enter the Covenant, which actually is a great way of getting Chaos Fireball and opening up a, um, oh, whatchamacallit, and opening up a, uh, a shortcut later on, which actually is going to be very handy. So, yep, that's the sadness. If you guys ever want to watch, um, oh, I can't remember his name. I always call him Vija, but he does amazing Prepare to Cry videos, um... I'm actually, I'll leave a link down in the description. There you go. Uh, he's got these videos called Prepare to Cry, and they're all the lore of Dark Souls. So if you're really into Dark Souls and you want to find out more about these characters and such, 
watch his videos. He does amazing work. I absolutely adore what he does. I'll leave the link in the description so that way you guys can, like, find him on YouTube. And, yeah, go over there, you know, so give him a subscription, give him a like. Um, you know, leave a message saying that Harder D sent you over. Because, you know, win. And, um, yeah, check it out. There's a lot of great videos there. Um, and, it, like I said, if you love Dark Souls and you want to get, like, if you want to know the lore of Dark Souls, he puts together whole on videos that are with item descriptions and everything. He does all the work for you and then puts it into a wonderfully made video to describe your heroes. Alright, so. I entered a nice big boss. I mean, nice big boss of uh, fog. And we're just going to run over this way. I mean, this is a nice area. We got a nice little lake of fire under us, and yet doesn't seem to hurt the fact that we're above a lake of fire, which I'm pretty sure we would die horribly of being cooked. And then we are just going to run up here. And this is a nice looking place. Oh, nothing too scary over here. Oh, look at what, what is that? Oh, that is weird and tentacly. And this is a boss. Uh, ceaseless Discharge. Which sounds like, Ceaseless Discharge sounds like it would be a male genital disease. But, <laughs> see, there's his face. He's actually really sad. What? Everything in this game is sad. That's why if you watch Vija's videos, all you're going to do is feel sadness for everything in this game. And you're just going to not want to pick it up anymore because everything is sad. So he's not really bothering us until we go over here and we touch this, which is ooh, a nice gold-hemmed black set. Oh, now he's pissed because that is one of the people he's protecting. And he overwatches her. So now we got to... Yeah, dodges arm. Oh, that was not a good dodge. This is like the only way that you can deal damage. If you're a sorcerer, you can deal damage by specifically. Um, hey, you can move around. I don't really know that. You can deal damage easily. There we go. You can deal damage a whole lot easier just by targeting him. Where if you're a melee character, kind of like we are now, then you have to do the whole slashes arm. Oh, what a dick! Oh, that... That was my fault. I got greedy with my heels. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go. Let's do some spin attacks. Woo! That's right. We're expecting that. Oh, shit. Ow. Yeah, that was my fault. More spin attacks. Woo! -hoo! This is what I gotta say to you. There we go. Now let's not repeat. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do it. There we go. Woo! Nice spin attack. There we go. Ceaseless Discharge has been defeated. You actually, like, have to defeat him, because otherwise you actually can't get to the lower levels. Because he's actually the reason why there's so much lava in the area. As you can see... All the lava is now disappeared. Or hard. I don't remember which one. Oh yeah, it's actually uh, disappeared. It's all running away. So that way you can actually go down into the area and continue on. But sadly, uh, to actually get further down there, you actually need to move on further in the game. So we're not actually going to like uh, take on that challenge. 20,000 souls sword. Very nice. Yeah, like I said, we're not actually going to take on that challenge because there's nothing actually down there. Uh, well, nothing down there that's useful to us. So pretty much we're just going to go back to Quilog and then we're actually going to make our way back to Blight Town because I want to show you the way back up. But anyways, we're out of time for today. We're going to continue on next time. Ooh, excuse me. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And until then, have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye!